In her memoir, Small Fry, 2018, Lisa Brennan Jobs recounts her journey of discovering the identity of her father, tech tycoon Steve Jobs, and the emotional turmoil she experienced when he initially rejected any connection with her. Critics laud the memoir for its insightful observations and vivid portrayal of 1970s and 1980s California. As an American journalist, Brennan Jobs went on to reconcile with her father and pursued studies at Harvard University and King's College, London. Having been portrayed in numerous biographies about her father, she admits to grappling with concerns about how her extended family would react to her own memoir. Brennan Jobs candidly shares the profound impact of growing up with the knowledge that her biological father did not want to be a part of her life. Her mother, Chris Ann, had been Steve Jobs' high school girlfriend, and Brennan Jobs was conceived during the early stages of Apple's development. Steve denied paternity, fearing that a child would hinder his pursuit of future success and fame. Brennan Jobs paints a picture of her childhood in California, initially unaware of Steve's existence as she was raised by Chris Ann in a hippie lifestyle. During this time, she was content, ignorant of any other reality, as Chris Ann deliberately avoided discussing her famous father. However, Brennan Jobs admits to experiencing shock and anger when she eventually discovered her father's identity. She felt resentment towards Steve for watching Chris Ann struggle financially for many years, battling him for child support payments that he only reluctantly provided to quell media speculation. She carried a lingering sense of having done something wrong to deserve her father's neglect. Eventually, Steve decided he wanted Brennan Jobs to be a part of his life, leading to her first visit to his opulent home. Overwhelmed by the affluence and privilege surrounding her, Brennan Jobs couldn't help but feel a deep sense of injustice, questioning why she had been treated so unfairly. Similarly, Brennan Jobs harbored resentment towards her own lifestyle, despite recognizing the hard work and sacrifices made by Chris Ann. She delves into her teenage years, highlighting the initial cracks in her relationship with her mother. Following her time in Steve's lavish home, surrounded by his affluent circle, Brennan Jobs despised returning to the farm and her mother's hippie way of life. Feeling entitled to a better existence, she placed blame on Chris Ann for Steve's abandonment of them both. This attitude led to years of frustration and strain between mother and daughter. However, everything took another turn when Steve lost his job at Apple. He expressed a desire to spend time on the farm, seeking to mend his friendship with Chris Ann. Although he no longer loved her, he regretted his past mistreatment. During this period, Brennan Jobs had the opportunity to meet her half-sister, Mona, and their bond grew. Yet, despite her efforts to please both parents, tensions between them resurfaced. Chris Ann resented her daughter's behavior, which she perceived as an attempt to impress Steve by acting differently. Conversely, Steve believed that Chris Ann hindered their daughter's potential. Oh, any fateful day. Steve insisted that Brennan Jobs move in with him for a minimum of six months, with strict instructions to cut ties with Chris Ann during that period. In hindsight, Brennan Jobs expresses anger towards her father's decision, recognizing that it was not his place to dictate such matters. She detests how he pitted her against her mother, who only wanted the best for her. According to Brennan Jobs, Steve's household was a cold and unforgiving environment, both literally and metaphorically. He assigned her a room in a distant part of the house where the heating was non-functional, and he refused to fix it. He constantly belittled her, asserting that she was a disappointment and would never achieve anything significant. He encouraged friendships with negative influences and displayed reluctance to support her college education financially. Brennan Jobs recounts how, after much reluctance, Steve eventually agreed to pay for her college education, but he abruptly stopped halfway through, leaving her in a humiliating situation. The neighbors, witnessing the mistreatment she endured, offered to cover her expenses, further highlighting the depth of Steve's neglect. Throughout this tumultuous period, Brennan Jobs had limited contact with Chris Ann, and she deeply regrets the years she spent apart from her mother. In the final chapters of Small Fry, Brennan Jobs shifts the focus to Steve's later years. As he battled cancer, he began to reflect on his life, acknowledging the profound mistreatment he had subjected Brennan Jobs to. He humbly sought her forgiveness, despite recognizing that he didn't deserve it. Despite his past behavior, Brennan Jobs visited him frequently and ultimately forgave him before his passing. Following Steve's death, Brennan Jobs reunited with her mother, seeking to make up for the lost years. While Small Fry serves as Brennan Jobs' personal memoir, it delves beyond her individual experiences. It serves as a poignant portrayal of growing up in an emotionally abusive and neglectful environment, shedding light on the true costs of success.
Brennan Jobs acknowledges that while Steve provided financial support and, in his own way, loved her, it was Chris Ann who truly provided the unwavering support she needed. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.